What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Talking about a few different topics related to horror. Today in this video, we'll be going over Jeepers Creepers, the Exorcist Believer test screening reaction that was shared with me along with the full plot breakdown, although I'm not going to spoil the movie so you can stick around and just hear the reaction that this person had who saw the movie a couple months back. And I'll dive into The Strangers 3, give a small update on that. And lastly, give a theory in regards to a recent post from Danielle Harris over on her Instagram story about the potential future of Halloween. So diving, diving into uh, Jeepers Creepers, get this tidbit out of the way first. Uh, Maria Delfino, who we know is Rhonda from Jeepers Creepers 2, let a fan, shout out to you, Destiny, let Destiny know that she would be down to do another Jeepers Creepers project in a recent interaction over on Instagram. Now, keep in mind, I recently had Travis, who plays Izzy in Jeepers Creepers 2, reach out and inform me that he, Rhonda, and Bucky would have appeared in the Scrap TV show that I've discussed on this channel. So, Bucky and Izzy would have been dating 20 years later, of course, and Rhonda would have been a friend of theirs it sounds like that's coming from travis himself i'm curious if maria knows anything about her involvement in the show but if jeepers creepers 5 happens many of them are at an appropriate age for the timeline since it's quite literally almost been 20 years since jeepers creepers 2 released we'll just have to wait and see if another project ever gets picked up but that's now two former stars who have made it known that they were willing to return so the ball is in the court of the powers that be in terms of making an adequate project or are you going to continue to hold this ip hostage and just produce trash as long as you can i sadly think that we're just going to keep on getting trash movies because with stars like this who i'm sure many of you wouldn't mind seeing back saying they're down to return why not put some effort into producing something of quality why not it I, I see no reason why you should have to keep on trying to put out trash when you have two people from the second film who are fine with doing a legacy sequel which is pretty much what this would be at this point because that's the times we're in <laughs> but diving into the exorcist believer the exorcist believer we know is coming out very soon in october I've seen this post about an alleged poster that's been found at an AMC theater. I don't know how real it is. However, we also know that the trailer recently has been rated. It's like two minutes and 16 seconds or 26 seconds. But someone that I know is very reliable, they saw the Exodus Believer a couple of months ago. And they gave me some pros and cons about this film. Now, I will say that off the bat, to me, it would appear that going off of the plot breakdown... This is going to be better than The Nun 2 for me. But again, like I always state, execution is everything. I could end up preferring The Nun 2 over The Exorcist Believer. But I have my doubts given how terrible I think The Nun 2 sounds. But some of their pros and cons, they I will say they do have more cons with this movie than anything. So sadly, they did think that this movie was quite bad. They didn't really think it was all that great. They thought it was quite terrible, to be honest. So some of their cons, they said that the movie fails to create or hold any tension or suspense. There's really only one solid scare in the movie, and this happens in like a hospital sequence, apparently. It's predictable. The movie feels way longer than it needs to be. So pacing issues, it sounds like the script was awful. The movie seems like four different kinds of movies rolled into one and not in a good way. And there was no nostalgia factor for them. So it just seemed like a cheap knockoff version of the first one but with two demon kids and a terrible payoff now here's the positives the one good jump scare that they mentioned in the negative <laughs> the kid actors in the demon form did a great job the voice was solid the practical effects were pretty good considering the material they were working with and it was pretty solid and the two possessed girls are the standouts amongst the uh amongst the cast like they mentioned earlier now again judging from these from the spoilers i'm not going to spoil the movie i do want to say the exodus believer again might be better than the nun 2 what's unfortunate is that no one that has seen these two movies the nun the nun 2 and the exodus believer no one has reported back to me with anything positive to say but execution is everything guys you might prefer the nun 2 over the exodus believer or you might be in the same boat with me ending up preferring the exorcist believer over the nun 2 but yeah both of these movies they sound they sound pretty subpar to terrible the terrible being the nun 2 sadly jumping into the next topic here related to the strangers the strangers 3 is supposed to arrive in august now again this is from ryan bound or bone who we know is starring in the film he revealed this back in april during an interview with his tamara home is tamara home.net and yet no trailer is in sight but the movie's supposed to be out in august 
Also, this image started making the round yesterday and it's Tamara was able to track down the source to unfortunately let us know it's simply from a fan account on Instagram who was very talented, but nothing to, this has nothing to do with the upcoming third film. However, with the release date supposedly creeping closer, if nothing has been pushed back, where is the trailer? My guess is it was pushed back and we just haven't been told about it. And we aren't gonna get it next month. Keep in mind, no one officially has stated that yes, the film is coming in august besides this one cast member i know i've seen it listed on a couple of websites but that's not necessarily anything substantial because it hasn't come from the studio where is the trailer i don't know <laughs> i think the movie is delayed and it's not coming till sometime much later if you don't know the full cast already here's the full cast the full cast includes madeline petch as maya for gutierrez as ryan gabriel basso uh emma horvath rachel shenton as debbie ella brucolari as jasmine Brooklyn Johnson as Danica, Ryan Bone as Jeff Morrell, Florian and Claire as Chris Sampson, Ben Cartwright as Rudy, Rebecca Johnston as Lucy, Miles Yakini as Marcus, Janice Ahern as Carol, Stevie Davies as Dougie, Brian Law as an EMT driver, George Young as Howard, Pablo Sandstrom as Neil, Pablo Leonardo. Pablo Leandro as Deputy Walters, Sarah Michelle Friedland as Annie, J.R. Esposito as Dr. Tate. And again, shout out to you. It's, it's TamraHome.net for collecting all of these nice details about the upcoming project. But diving into the last topic here, Halloween. Danielle Harris put up this image on her Instagram story a few days ago earlier this month with a nice fan poster about a direct sequel to Halloween 4, The Return of Jamie Lloyd or The Revenge of Jamie Lloyd. Now, here's what I have to say about this. A Halloween 4 sequel, I wouldn't mind it. I believe Danielle Harris has actually said that she's been talking with uh, Malika Cod about returning to the franchise, but, or Mustafa Akkad or Malika Cod about returning to the franchise. And while i would have to say i would not mind seeing her back a sequel to halloween 4 i think you have to handle very carefully not mustafa Akkad, malik Akkad. i for forgot mustafa unfortunately he has passed away many years ago uh in terms of jamie lee curtis or danielle harris coming back jamie lloyd if you're doing a sequel to halloween 4 in in, in respect to that fan poster Doing a film set maybe 30 so years later, Jamie's in her 40s. Michael, of course, would be in his 60s. So you'd have another elderly citizen version of Michael Myers. Although the Halloween trilogy recently that we got did do a, a great job at not making him seem too old outside of Halloween ends, of course. You could do a film set 30 years later. Jamie, Lee, Jamie Lloyd is back. And she's now been released from Smith's Grove or wherever she ended up after the ending of four after attacking her stepmother. She's been released. Bodies start dropping around the town of Haddonfield. Rachel can be involved in this story as well. Give Rachel a proper return uh, with the same actress, hopefully. And when the bodies start dropping around the town of Haddonfield, Haddonfield believes it's Jamie. Because you can also build up this idea that a, a lot of fear and talk about Jamie has started around town the same way it started about her uncle. She's now in the mix of those talks just like her uncle. But when she's released and allowed to go home because she's clearly demonstrated that she's quote unquote better. The town is ne reacting negatively to her homecoming and then the bodies start dropping around the time of Halloween and the finger immediately gets pointed to Jamie. We know it's not Jamie. It's just a slow burn that builds up to the return of Michael Myers. And we have one last showdown between Michael Myers and his niece. He only returned this late because he he found out that his niece had returned home. Why didn't he attack her in Smith's Grove? That's for the movie to explain. I haven't thought that far. <laughs> you guys can let me know if you like that little basis of how the movie could be done. If we got a Jamie Lloyd sequel down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And there is a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.